Emmett's is still that same lovable, naive guy that he was in the first Lego. Lucy has evolved in a way because the world has become an apocalyptic wasteland. So she has locked in. This is her world. She's really good in this world. She can kick and take names. And she is battling aliens. And she is in her zone. Emmett, on the other hand, is still singing songs and skipping through town. For him, it doesn't really sink in that anything is dangerous. And that's a problem for Lucy. She tells Emmett he's got to change. It's time for Emmett to grow up. And if he doesn't grow up, she she does it out of love. She wants Emmett to survive. And um, Emmett's worried if he doesn't change and grow up that he's going to lose his special best friend forever, Lucy. Queen Whatever Awanabe is played by the amazing Tiffany Haddish, who's the funniest person in the world. And uh, her character, uh, her name is Queen Whatever Awanabe because she is a, um, a handful of Lego bricks that can turn into anything at any time. So she's constantly changing her form into different shapes and super creative character. There's also Sweet Mayhem. Uh, if you remember um, the good cop, bad cop from the first Lego movie, this is the Sistar Systems uh, good cop, bad cop. And her name is Sweet Mayhem, and she's the coolest. Uh, uh, she's got a robot voice. She's got a slick vehicle that she rides around in. She's got a really cool costume and a mask that she wears. And both of them uh, work together to kidnap uh, Emmett's best friends and take, him, take them up to the solar system. Along for the ride, Emmett meets when he's uh, traveling into outer space. He meets a character named Rex Danger Vest. That's uh, he's kind of he will be familiar to anyone who is a fan of Chris Pratt because he seems to sum up all the characters Chris Pratt has played in other movies. Well, when Emmett meets this guy, he is super tough, super cool guy. He's a dinosaur trainer. He's a cowboy. He's a space explorator. He's all everything that Chris Pratt has been in other movies is what Rex Dangerville sums up. He is the toughest guy in the world. And Emmett is convinced this is the guy that can help me be tough so I won't lose Lucy. This is my Yoda. This is my Oprah. This is my Yopra. This guy is amazing, Rex Dangervest. And uh, unfortunately, what Rex uh, represents is growing up. What was really new and fresh about what we did is we took all the Lego from the first movie and we expanded it. Like there's so many other um, styles of Lego brick out there and we just threw it all together because this little girl in our story, she doesn't have any rules to how she plays. So she incorporates the Friends dolls and the Duplo and the bricks and she just plays in a whole different way. And that allowed us to not even create completely different worlds and new lands, but also a completely different way of animating. Each one of these has a different little way that they move. And um, so that was really, felt really um, creative. The Sistar system, which is the sister system, it's the little girl's room upstairs, and everything is glittery and fuzzy and fluffy. And um, the little sister in, in the real world, she incorporates uh, fabrics into playing with Lego. And like she builds on a uh, fuzzy pink blankets that become alien landscapes in our Lego world. And, uh, and uh, water is uh, made out of uh, fabric that's almost like made out of her butterfly wings that she has up in her bedroom. So there's a real mix of creativity and weird imagery that's going to blow people's minds in this film. I think they're really going to enjoy it. The whole story is uh, the brother uh, connecting and playing with his sister. So when the sister comes, she's got a whole different way of playing and she's into space travel. Uh, she's into, um, she's very creative and crafty. She involves crafts in her play. And another big part of her is she's into music. She loves musicals. So that's like just uh, came naturally that um, at any point in her world, when she's playing, all the characters can break out into song. And it's uh, insane. And it really makes all the uh, characters from Bricksburg very confused. But um, it was a way for us to embrace the first movie um, just really did such a great job at not only creating a song that told a story uh, about an evil uh, business lord that was uh, dominating, but that song was also terribly catchy and like really fun. And so for this movie, we took that song and we had to evolve it. I have always wanted to work with Chris Pratt. I'm a huge fan. 
He is such a charming guy. He has such a warm voice and he is a very funny person. And it is great to work with him on this movie. And he's not just playing one role, he's playing two roles. So uh, it's, a, it's a real challenge uh, for him, but he is pulling it off and it is amazing. A lot of these films are done in the computer. So everything's behind a screen. And so the animators and the designers were all mostly working and looking off of a screen. Well, at the same time, the, um, the uh, artists from Lego are building characters based on our designs. So just only recently, uh, they brought all their designs to us. And it's a really special thing that I don't see on any other animated film I've worked on, where you can hold the characters in your hand and look at them and they're tactile and they're tangible. And it was like really inspiring for all the artists to see their work in their hand. I can't think of any other job I've done in animation where you get to do that. And it was super cool and inspiring. I wish we got to do it more. I think moms and dads, one will love the irreverent humor, which is exactly the same humor that's in the first Lego. It's really strange and fun and weird and funky. Tons of fun action, but I also think mom and dad will uh, really react to the brother-sister story. I think it's very relatable uh, as parents to the story of two siblings getting along, as well as it's relatable to anyone that has a brother and sister. Hey guys, did you know the top five most expensive movies ever made are Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens at number five, Avengers Age of Ultron at number four, Pirates of the Caribbean at the World's End at number three, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides at number two, and coming in at number one is Avatar. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side if you want to watch another video. Thank you.